Just like we talked about a couple of days ago, it seems that Cyberverse isn't as dead as we think it is. There still is a little bit of life left and product coming out. And we have some Walmart listings here, but this time, this time, these Walmart listings actually have images with them. And one of these figures we knew about, the other two we didn't know were coming. And it is that of first, the most important, in my opinion, the ultimate class Iaconis, and finally knowing what his alt mode is and how it looks. We had leaked images before that just had the in package with the robot mode, but now we got some alt mode images and we'll get into that, along with two figures that not only did we not know these were coming, these are, are news to us, but they're actually alt modes that we didn't even know existed. So it's that of a Cybertronian one-step fusion shot Megatron and a Cybertronian one-step Megachop Ratchet. So we'll get into these two first. Uh, so obviously it's a Cybertronian Megatron, uses a more, I don't know, angular kind of tank compared to what he's had in the past. It's the one steps, hey, at least it actually has an alt mode. Not really much to talk about with the Megatron. The Ratchet is interesting because while we've had a few Ratchet toys in the Cyberverse line, we've never had anything that indicated that he's ever had a Cybertronian design. And this one's cool because it's pretty much his, I guess we'll call it his Toyota One slash uh, van ambulance deal, but because it's Cybertronian, it has hover wheels instead, which are very interesting in how that design is. And, and I'll be honest, for a one-step, robot mode doesn't look terrible. I've seen worse, but uh, probably a lot of kibble hanging off of that back there and uh, not a lot of paint on the figure. But again, could be worse. I've, I've definitely messed with worse one-steps, some that don't even hold together when you transform them. <clears throat> Hot rod. But... That is it, and that's being said. Now, let's get to the big boy himself. Let's talk about the Ultra Class Iaconis, which comes with his Energon armor gimmick. This is, within canon of the show, one of the largest figures. Again, he's a city bot. And we had in the show, again, spoilers if you haven't seen it, Windblade, the city speaker, gets him to transform, and we have just this incredibly large character. And when we learned that he transforms back into a city and we knew that we were going to be getting a toy, the question was, how is this toy going to re figurally represent what is on the screen? So the robot mode itself um, isn't too bad. It isn't too bad. It actually comes with the weapons that he wielded in the show, his shield and his sword. What I felt was a bit of a missed opportunity in terms of sculpting, and maybe it, it, it has to do with the limitations of the sculpting, um, his normal head sculpt is that without, I guess we'll call it his armor crest helmet. And I thought, okay, maybe the Energon armor will kind of really match what is on the screen. And it really doesn't. Obviously, it has to have the translucent, so I'd let that slide for the Energon armor gimmick. But it also doesn't have, like, the flailing crest of the helmet, too. They had, like, four pokes or whatever, little spoky things popping out. But again, it's it's okay. It's okay. Again, I know that they have to kind of integrate the gimmick and stuff. A lot of articulation on him. A lot of articulation, so I'll give him credit there. Even as a waist swivel, which I'm pretty surprised about. Uh, but looks pretty good. But here's where it, here's where everything kind of just creates this giant question mark. And it's uh, it's that of the, the alt mode. Now, he kind of has this alt mode that's just kind of like he... I don't know, he just kind of like lies down on his stomach and just has his elbows out. It's kind of hard to explain. Um, it's kind of ugly. Uh, I don't know if it's supposed to be a city mode or is it supposed to be a tank mode or is it supposed to be some kind of hovercraft mode because he has his little, you know, I don't know, like uh, turbines on the side from his robot mode's legs. It's a lot of weird stuff going on here. Again, same thing too. You store the weapons on his back, so it doesn't really add to anything that would suggest a city mode. His chest doesn't really have any detail that suggests like an opening of a door or stuff. Uh, maybe I'm wrong. Unfortunately, the images that are provided here are... I, I hate these images. These are like... They take like a random stock image of a kid playing with nothing, and then they superimpose product in it. I've seen this so many times on AliExpress and a lot of these Chinese bootleg websites where they'll just take some random kid and they'll superimpose the product in to make it look like he's actually playing with it, which, which he really isn't. So we have just this terrible angle of the alt mode, but I mean, at the end of the day, this is probably going to be the only Iaconis figure we're going to get. And at an ultra scale, it's, it's, I mean, the thing is too, the, the scale to the child here is not that accurate. 
um, the ultra scale uh, energon armor is actually slightly smaller unless this kid is extremely tiny this is like a, a very short kid or something or very tiny in dimensions child but uh, this figure is going to be more between that of let's say six to seven inches tall so I mean it looks like a leader class in this image here but that is not the case he this is a figure in all honesty uh, that would have benefited from that ultimate scale that existed in the line and he could have been that that big you know price Christmas product but unfortunately just the timing wasn't there and with the cancellation of the series and the moving on to whatever's the next plan uh, that is not in the cards but it's a shame but this is probably going to be our only Iaconis figure I hope I'm wrong but chances are that's probably not going to be the case it's this is probably going to be the only one and uh so if you're looking to get the the big city base this is probably going to be where you're going to have to go it's kind of like what's going on with clobber as it is right now the only clobber figure you could get is through the energon armor ultra class so uh, it is what it is but at least finally we know what that alt mode looks like and a lot of green and it is what it is but at least we got a figure of him so Hopefully we'll learn more maybe about those deluxes and maybe we'll get some more intriguing characters. I know Iaconis' deluxe would not uh, fit in very well, but hopefully, I don't know, I'm just hoping that this Cyberverse line isn't completely dead and they're still going to be marching forward because, I mean, keep it real, guys, like, we still don't know nothing of the next series or the next movies. Like, we, we have no indication of what's going on. Granted, that could all change when San Diego Comic-Con season rolls around, even though we don't have a San Diego Comic-Con, but at least that reveal season rolls around. But as it stands right now, we don't know what the next chapter in our TV fiction is, outside of, obviously, the Netflix series, and we don't know what the next chapter is in our theatrical fiction, even though we really, at the moment, can't really go back to theaters anyhow. So it's it's something that I'm really curious. Uh, it, maybe they're going to stretch the Cyberverse line a little longer due to the fact there's just no fiction to kind of meet that material. Where Cyberverse, hey, it's on YouTube. You can watch the episode. So maybe they can milk into that. Two streaming services, YouTube with Cyberverse, at least in the United States if you're a, a resident. And Netflix at the end of July will cover that. So those two mediums of a way to enjoy fiction within our hobby will will be present. Let me know what you think about this. Let me know what you think. I know I'm going to pick up Iconis. Iconis. I, I know it either way. I'm still going to pick him up just because I want to have at least the best representation of every character in this in this show because I really liked Cyberverse as a show despite the fact that it, it didn't give me a lot of material and it ended way sooner than it should. And the line really could have been a lot better in terms of... Uh, in terms of engineering for a, an older audience but at the end of the day you know Iaconis is going to be my representation of that character in the same way that until we see something better you know that warrior class is going to be your windblade that ultra energon armor class is going to be your clobber and so on and so forth but we'll, we'll see in the future hopefully we learn more about uh, the Cyberverse line and just these three reveals and whatever the deluxes are going to be giving us isn't the end and hopefully we'll have some more stuff in the near future.